This is carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. This is carbon dioxide in the salt. After a chemical reaction turns the greenhouse gas into solid rock. That's right. The greenhouse gas that floats up to play its part in trapping heat and warming the planet can actually be turned into stone. Researchers at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory have proved that a process once thought to take thousands of years only takes about two. Now we know uh, that this mineral trapping process can occur very quickly. It makes it safe uh, to store CO2 uh, in, in these uh, formations because we know now that in a short period of time, the CO2 will be uh, permanently trapped. With a little heat and pressure, they coax the CO2 into a mostly liquid state called supercritical carbon dioxide. They pushed 1,000 tons of the fluid, nearly 3,000 feet underground, into lava flows in southeastern Washington, where minerals like calcium, iron, magnesium, and manganese are part of the basalt. So what happens when you inject the CO2 in that system with a little bit of water uh, is the system becomes slightly acidic and those minerals uh, don't like that. They're, they're unstable uh, in those conditions. So they will dissolve. The dissolved minerals react with CO2 to become a carbonate, which is a mineral rock similar to limestone bound to the basalt. That's that special thing uh, that's permanent. It can't leak. There's no place for it to go. It's back to solid rock. So there isn't a more safer or permanent storage mechanism than this uh, mineralization and carbonation. So if you want to combat climate change by capturing and storing carbon dioxide, basalt formations found around North America and throughout the world may be one of the most unique places to safely store it.